I want to do a patriotic birdhouse for our 4th of July video. My first thought was to design a duplex birdhouse and mount it right here on the other side of this log from our white church birdhouse. The duplex would have one half red and one half blue, so red, white, and blue. Eventually, I probably will make a duplex birdhouse, but this spot is better suited for a different birdhouse design. It's a log cabin that needs a little TLC. This is another one of those birdhouses that I originally built for our rental property that I've since decided to bring out here for us to enjoy. Now my intention is for most of these birdhouses to be mounted along the fences of our goat pens. Too many goats. Remember, our goats love gnawing the bark off of trees because we don't want the goats to eat the log cabin birdhouse. Down in the ravine will just be a safer location for it. Stop eating the post, Sienna. There's no nutritional value in that pressure treated 4x4. Four four. The roof is kind of falling apart and it had a covered porch that will need to be replaced. The way I built this was simple enough. As with most of my birdhouses, I use cedar fence boards. After constructing a simple house form, I tacked on the sticks with little finishing nails. The ends of those logs have been filed down so they nest together like Lincoln logs. The birdhouse entrance was created with a hole saw and underneath the top roof log is some flashing to help keep the inside a little drier. That flashing is just an old root beer can that I cut up and folded and put into position. Because a brand new board would look out of place on this really well seasoned birdhouse, I'm going to use a scrap of cedar fence board that's already really well weathered to replace that covered porch.
actually the remains of a nest in here that I'm going to clean out.
We don't have any 4th of July fireworks this year. But look at these ferns, the way they're spraying out all over the place. It's kind of like fireworks. I've just mounted this birdhouse to the post with L brackets, and I think this is the perfect spot for it. Hey, Mrs. Buddy, I didn't see or hear you there. Mrs. Buddy is a troll that lives just down the hill. Like all magical creatures, she's invisible unless she wants to be seen. So, what do you think of the new birdhouse? It's nice and rustic looking, but I wouldn't really call it new. You're right. I should have called it the new old birdhouse. I saw you up here yesterday pulling weeds. I guess you were prepping the site for the new cabin? Yeah, I just wanted it to look good for YouTube. Is this place for another family of trolls? Maybe I'm being just a, a nosy neighbor, but I'd really like to know Brian. No, I wasn't putting it up for anyone in particular. Can Buddy and I use this as an Airbnb? A frontier cabin like this here in the Wild West would be pretty popular, especially since it overlooks such a, a lovely and serene landscape. I don't see why not. You know, you and Buddy can pull weeds down here yourselves and plant nice things to make the place look even better. Oh, and it would be nice to know who and what kind of people are staying here, as well as why they wanted to visit this place. That's great. One thing to know about trolls, we're not afraid to get our hands dirty. The good earth is what recharges our magic energy. You know, as it turns out, we happen to have other Airbnb guests right now. I got a note from Mrs. Buddy, and believe it or not, she's already lined up the first Airbnb guest. And it's one of those New Zealand dwarf hobbits. She says he wants to know what it feels like to be Paul Bunyan. I'm guessing those dwarf hobbits might have a little bit of an inferiority complex. So pretending to be a larger than life lumberjack makes sense. Let's make this hobbit feel really welcome. Quail eggs are really pretty small for us, but for a, a pint-sized hobbit, it would probably be a feast. Mr. Hobbit, I hope I'm not interrupting your vacation. I just want you to feel welcome. So I brought a couple of farm fresh eggs it is about time for second breakfast. Maybe he has jet lag. We'll just leave him on the porch for him and come back later. Those eggs are gone, both of them. It looks like our hobbit is a fan of our farm fresh quail eggs. Mr. Hobbit, I brought my chainsaw. If you want, you can ride right up here while I cut something down. It's safe and it might be fun. Interested? Nothing. It would have been nice to say hello. I'm probably just a little intimidating for the Hobbit. Let's just end the video here by saying, happy birthday, America.